It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Black Sheep Breweries Milk Stout, described as creamy, rich and dark, coming in at 4.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. One quick thing I want to mention. Ooh, look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Yeah, one thing I want to mention very quickly. I was sent a big parcel of beer by Black Sheep. And the box was smashed. It was completely smashed. Some of the beers were okay. But the labels, they didn't smash. But the labels were covered in... They were dirty and messy and grimy, so I decided not to review them beers, but I kind of felt a little bit guilty because I was drinking beers with, with, with dirty labels, but they were fine. The beer inside was fine. So I went out to my local supermarket, picked this up. I didn't really want them to send another box of beer up my way because of the the damage uh, and I've got it's the cost as well to send a big parcel of beer again so I went and bought it we got a two finger tan coloured head jet black beer in the glass I do like a milk stout I do like stouts in general they're, they're my type of beer aroma oh yeah that smells good chocolatey and rich a little bit of vinous quality on the back end. That smells lovely. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh, stone the crows. Stone the crows. That's lovely. I was drinking a stout last night and it was really vinous. I'm not going to I'm not going to say where it was from, who who it was from, um, but it was really vinous, really kind of out of context, out of balance. Itchy nose, sorry. Um it was way too vinous. It was it was like they added either too many hops to the beer and it was it was too plum like, too fig like, too too much kind of raisins and plums and prunes. It was kind of and a, a, a red wine quality right on the back end. Too much of that. This, on the other hand, is it's got a really nice creaminess to it, a really nice depth to it, a really nice body, really lovely, creamy, rich body to the, to the beer. And then we got flavours of of some maybe a touch of vanilla, some caramel, chocolate and coffee. And when you think of chocolate and coffee, you think big, thick, gloopy flavours, especially lattes, caramels, sticky and gloopy. What was the other one? Chocolate, a milk chocolate. If you hold on to milk chocolate, we all know what it does to in your hand, it melts. We were all children once, weren't we? And this has got that lactosey creamy depth to that I really like personally I really really like in a stout this is terrific this is really terrific I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and say this is probably for me well I started reviewing the black sheep beers when we first started on the channel 10 years ago 10 years black sheep ale rig welter um, Yorkshire Square Ale, Monty Python's beer, and I, I think back then, 10 years ago, I think Black Sheep were one of the first breweries to ever send to the channel, ever. Um, and I like their beers, I still drink their beers, but for me this is, this is, this is their best beer. They produced a really good Russian Imperial Stout a few years ago. I'm not sure if they still make that beer, um, but that was really good. This is just terrific. Really terrific example 
of a milk stout. Heading into the winter season, I'm reviewing this towards the end of October 2019. This is the style of beer now we're going to be drinking going into the winter months. The warming, kind of rich, gives you a hug from the inside out type beers. It's got a nice balance to it. There's a little bit of vinous on the back end. Lots of kind of rich, roasty flavours up front with a bit of sweetness with the malt. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. That is one of the best milk stouts I've ever, ever tried. Look at that. Look at the way the head is holding. Look at that creamy, rich head there on the beer. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's see what the brewery says about the beer. A silky, creamy, stout packing notes of chocolate, vanilla and coffee brewed with lactose. Honestly, I've not read the back of this label yet. It's just, um, I've been reviewing beer for 10 years and I kind of get the, the flavours that are in the beer and, and so does the brewers because they brewed it. So it sounds like my beer review reading this label. Um, lactose on a robust malt blend. This milk stout offers a satisfying sweetness that cuts against a light bitterness brought together through an irresistible velvet texture. That velvet texture for me is the winner. That is the on the money, what you need to do to produce a fantastic milk stout. Does it have lactose? Let's have a quick look at the ingredients. Yeah, um, lactose. So um, it's, a, it's a milk product, lactose. Yeah, it, it gives it a bit of creaminess. Some brewers use oats, some brewers use lactose. Do they use oats and lactose? Uh, doesn't look like. Anyway, 4.4% ABV. I'm going to rate this. This, well, you can imagine the, the rating that's come in this way. That is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. For me, that's a stone the crows. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.